Okay, so now we are back in the uh, SDK. I downloaded the newest version just to make sure uh, and see if it actually works now. So I'll actually just press build solution. And that's uh, that's where what you are gonna do now. And then, of course, this is going to take a long while because there's a hell lot of files it's going true now so uh, we'll just stop it now and uh, I'll see you when it's done okay so now it's done and as you see here uh, 21 succeeded 2 failed and 0 up to date 0 skipped so this is what I referred to as the errors earlier uh, it might just be that it's actually not um, really compatible yet so uh, that's not a big problem actually because the game is operational and you can still modify the source code so you can add elements and add what you want to your mod anyway so now as we've done this build you can actually just go ahead and uh, close the solution and now you've basically prepared the tools for uh, the game uh, now you want to open a new solution over here well open project uh, go over to SRC and then you have these two to choose between and as we chose the um, we chose the H, uh, the mod episodic. You see, it's already remade the uh, mod. That's because we just ran the build uh, earlier on. Uh, but anyway, we chose the uh, mod episodic as our uh, as our um, s source uh, for the mod. So that's what we're going to choose from when we oh, when we open this as well so game episodic uh, and we open that one of course this is also going to uh, take a few moments and uh, then what you're gonna want to do after this is just to press the build solution button over here and that's that's it for that part uh, I will stop uh, recording now until that's uh, done both the uh, preparing and the build and uh, I will uh, tell you what to do next after that now you see here uh, the build process was actually quite short that's because we just uh, built the entire project early earlier on when we built SDK everything uh, over here so that shouldn't be a big problem uh, but you see this one uh, was not already up to date so this is a necessarily step to do uh, well it's necessary to press this uh, button anyway so now basically everything should be set up um, but it's not ready for debugging yet and uh, this is the interesting part where we actually have to do something uh, so first off you want to select both these uh, you don't need to res uh, reset the name of these uh, you can of course do but now uh, in the last tutorial you had to reset the names to client and server now they can actually just remain you might even set it to your mod name instead of episodic in there uh, I don't really bother I think uh, but if you get errors when you do that you should probably just leave it um, so oh, anyway you want to uh, go into configuration properties and then to debugging now it's a bit slow there and then you want to in the command let's is where you want to copy this the source SDK base 2013 you might also just go in here and uh, 
quick browse, but I think it's much more simple to do. Um, just go in here and grab this, copy, paste. Then you want to add a dash over there, and then type in agel 2exc So now it has the uh, basic command for uh, for launching the game while you wh when you press the debug button. But this won't really do anything as you've not added any uh, command arguments yet. So what you want to do here. Um, is uh, quite a lot actually. Um, well, I say it a lot. You have a lot of uh, command lines you may want to include. Uh, the basic necessary ones are actually just allo debug, which will al allow the uh, debug mode. Uh, because if you do a normal release build, it won't uh, it won't uh, allow this uh, DLL files. So Allo debug is uh, a necessary one, and then you have game, which is also a necessary one. And then, personally, I like to add uh, stuff between here. I don't know why, but that's personal preferences, I guess. So I want to add uh, start windowed, which is uh, it's a dash s v w s s w um, Excuse me, uh, and then we have that dash um, h, which stands for height, and then you have uh, space 720 to get the proper proper um, width, and then you have dash w, which is the width, and 1280 is the number we want there. Uh, now another thing that is quite common to put in here is uh, dash dev which will run into uh, you will run into dev mode and I think this is very necessarily uh, ne necess eh, very necessary in this uh, situation as uh, a lot of uh, messages are only shown if you are in dev mode. Uh, then you have dash console which uh, con console which will start the game with the console already opened and uh, what more is there tools uh, that's for getting the uh, particle editor and uh, st stuff like that and there's probably more actually um, let's see over here at the uh, this one. Yeah, you have full screen. Um, pretty self explaining. And then you have. Uh, oh yeah, this is a this is a good one. Because there's currently a bug. I it might just have been fixed in this uh, newest uh, newest commit actually, but it's uh, it's quite a nice thing to add anyway. Uh, so dash dx level. Uh, space 90. 90 is a good thing to put in there. Uh, that is the uh, 9.0 uh, version of the Red X. Uh, so you will get proper shaders. Um, because that's a, as I said, it's a bug. Um, and if you don't add that, you will end up with the stationary water and quite crappy textures actually. And also no support for high quality shadow textures. So after game, you add a space, and then you add two, um, two of these uh, of these uh, uh, apostrophe thingies, uh, and then you want to go in here, go to test mod, or your mod's name, go into game uh, mod episodic, and then you want to copy this as this is where you have your game info.txd and all your uh, resources so this is actually uh, what uh, the mod is going to load so that's what you want to put into uh, between these apostrophe things so put your mod uh, directory in there 
Of course you may want to uh, rename this later, but as a debug thing I think it's fairly simple just to um, uh, have it called mod episodic. It doesn't really matter as uh, the actual name itself is defined into the game info, uh, which for some reason has been reset. I um, don't know why that happened. Probably happened when I did the uh, everything SDK build thing. So uh, test mod, and then we have test mod in here. Test mod, and we want to. Let's probably change this as well. Then uh, want to scroll down. Oh, here we have the courier new as well. That's uh, the one I was uh, looking for earlier. Um, let's see, where is it? Probably, I probably scrolled all the way down. All the way down. Where is it? Let's find it. Adel two. EP two. There we go. Here we have this one, and we will replace that one, and then everything is fixed. Now, I haven't tested this actually, but it might actually uh, overwrite that when you build the solution. I don't think it will when you build the normal game episodic solution, uh, but if you build the everything solution ev again, that will probably um, replace that. So now we're going to uh, run the debug thing. You might end up with the error here, but I think as we've uh, already gone through the steps of uh, setting the debug thingy in uh, the properties, this should actually work. So now we're just waiting for it to go through some uh, processing and uh, it should be flashing and there you go. It uh, is opening. Let's see if it actually runs without uh, crashing now as well, because that would be lovely. Now, as you see, this is quite quite more simple than uh, than the last mode. Yeah. Now we are in the uh, in the uh, developer uh, mode. Um, I kind of set my screen resolution to be um, bigger than the actual screen now. Um, because I have to resize my screen when I uh, record for this, so yeah. If we're gonna change mode over to this, and we have the uh, console here at the startup, uh, we also don't seem to have a name for the mod, uh, apparently. Let's see, full screen? No, no name. So that didn't work properly, apparently. Uh, We'll just have to figure that out later. Uh, now let's see if we can open a map. We probably should be able to do so, but it seems like it... Yeah, there we go. So we have uh, SDK vehicles. Let's load that. I don't know if that's a default thing, but I think it is, as it showed up here. So it's loading, and uh, it might not actually show up on the screen now, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, let's see if it actually does that. Yes, it appears it actually did. Uh, so now I've uh, closed down uh, the, uh, the game, and everything seems to be working, so now you're free to go ahead, go into the source files, and modify what you want and add new stuff as you want as well. So yeah, that's uh, everything for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will try to make the uh, tutorial tomorrow for how to uh, use the git system instead of uh, downloading manually. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned how to do this and if not you can just uh, s send me a message via YouTube and I will try to help you as best as I, as I can. Uh, if you get any errors, uh, that's uh, also quite a big problem for many, at least it was in the uh, last tutorial. So if you get any errors, uh, try to find what the error is about and then try to upload that, um, that specific file into uh, 
paste bin dot uh, what's what's it called paste paste bin dot com simple as that so that's a place where you can upload code and uh, give that link uh, to me so I can view uh, through the uh, through the file and see if I can get anything out from it and I will try to help you as best as I can uh, otherwise you can also paste your errors if you get any into paste bin and just send me that um, and yeah so uh, that's it for now and I will see you tomorrow on this topic so yeah goodbye